Hi, I'm John Hazard, and for me, it's all about food. Today I want to make for you a phenomenal dish. I want to make butter chicken. It's an Indian curry dish. And I just felt like eating some curry today. And I thought, you know what? Let me make some butter chicken. I had the ingredients inside the fridge. And I said, well, today would be a phenomenal day to make this amazing butter chicken. It's very simple. It's a very, kind of a, like a tomato-based Indian curry, but very simple to make. And I am sure you will enjoy it. So let's just get, go ahead and make it. First, we're gonna divide this into three stages to make this easy for you. We're gonna first marinate the chicken, which I suggest you marinate overnight. In my case, I'm showing it to you now, so I'll probably only marinate it for at least an hour. The second stage will be placing the chicken in the oven to bake. And the third stage is making the sauce. And of course, well, I'm gonna add a fourth stage, which is actually consuming this amazing dish. So let's just go ahead and get started. So I have my chicken breast, but what I want to do first is to make the marination. So I'm going to start first with some yogurt. I have here plain yogurt, so I'm going to add that into a bowl. So just a plain uh, Greek yogurt, that's all it really is. Then we also have some lemon juice, so we're going to add that into this bowl as well too. And I have here some olive oil, so we're just going to add a touch of olive oil in here and I'm also going to have the recipe in the link below for you. The olive oil adds some smoothness to it. Of course, we have to have a bit of salt to give some flavor. So we add some salt in here. And then we are gonna add some turmeric, just about a gram of turmeric. Or if you have saffron, you can add saffron as well too, or you can add yellow food coloring as well, but I like to have the natural spices. If I did have saffron, which is quite expensive, I would use saffron, but you can use turmeric. I have here some paprika. So we get all this nice stuff out. Then we have some cumin powder, maybe about two grams of cumin. Uh, black pepper. This is just ground black pepper. We want to have a low heat to our dish so we can add a bit of cayenne. So I'm adding some cayenne pepper here. Then we have some five spice powder. Add that in. And we have here uh, some coriander powder and then we have some uh, freshly grated uh, ginger uh, which I would have grated on the microplane I just took my I peeled the ginger with the back of my knife and then I grated the ginger on a microplane to get this nice puree so I would suggest you purchase a microplane as well if you don't have a microplane you could always use like a box grater but use the fine side of the box grater and then I did the same thing with the garlic as well. I peeled the garlic and then I grated the garlic on my microplane as well too, or you can use a box grater. But you want to get a nice puree or you can chop it with your nice knife. And I would suggest you use a bit of salt when you're kind of chopping your garlic up to create a nice paste as well, if you don't have a microplane. But my recommendation is to run out to the store and purchase one. And then we, I tend to like to use the, the uh, green Thai chili peppers. I couldn't find any in the supermarket when I was shopping recently. So I'm using some Scotch bonnet pepper, which is quite traditional here in the Caribbean, Scotch bonnet. So we added those ingredients together. I think we have everything inside here. So what we're gonna do now is just to mix this all up. So we have this all mixed up. And then once it's mixed, all we do now is we add the chicken. And what I'm using here, I'm using here chicken thigh meat, which is more flavorful. So I took my chicken thighs, which I got from the supermarket. Skin was already on it, so I peeled the skin off, and the bone, the thigh bone was already in the chicken as well. So I basically deboned my chicken breast. And once it was deboned, I sliced it into large, not my chicken breast, my chicken thigh. I sliced it into large cubes. So all we do now is we just mix the chicken in with the marination and we allow this to marinate for 24 hours. So this is something that if you're doing it, let's say today is Sunday, if you're doing it today Sunday, 
you want to do this like Saturday, anytime on Saturday is fine. Saturday afternoon, morning, or it could be Saturday night before you go off to bed. But you want to marinate this so this has a really phenomenal flavor. In my case, I'm probably gonna just marinate this for at least an hour or two hours. But I wanted to let you know the longer you marinate it, the more flavorful it is. So once it's all mixed and all nicely incorporated, we then would cover it and we can place this right into our refrigerator, which is what I'm going to do. So with chicken products, you always want to place them in the refrigerator. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to get ready now for the next process, which is to bake the chicken in the oven. I'm going to turn my oven on. And also while that's baking, I'm going to go ahead as well too and get our sauce started. And then the grand moment, which is actually eating this amazing chicken. So I am going to clean up here and head over to my stove and turn it on and get the next process started. Okay, so I went ahead and I pulled my chicken out of the fridge, which has been marinating for at least now one hour. Again, my recommendation is that you marinate this chicken for a minimal of 24 hours to get maximum flavor. So it's very simple. So what we do, I took a pan, I have my foil paper. I think sometimes when I have pans like this to put foil paper in the bottom, because what it does is it makes it easier cleanup. I just have to take the foil out, dispose of it, and the pan is pretty much clean. It just needs a bit of soap, liquid, and wash it, so it's easier cleanup for me. So what we do now is we, we're gonna actually bake this chicken. You can, you can either bake it or grill it. I prefer to bake it because it is basically uh, large cubes of chicken thigh meat, so that can drop into the grill. But what we do is I tend to pour this, this whole mixture right in here. So I pour everything in there, the marination and everything, which is smelling delicious. And while that's poured there, I just rest this to a side. What I will do now is to go ahead now and pop this in the oven. And we're just gonna cook this until probably it's gonna take at least about 15 minutes. So I pop this in the oven. And we're gonna cook the chicken thigh meat in there. While that's cooking, what I did is I went ahead and I washed a bit of basmati rice at the sink and I soaked it for at least about 20 minutes or so. So I'm gonna go ahead now and cook that rice because I wanna have a little rice to go along with our dish this evening, our butter chicken. So basically what we will do now is I'm gonna add some water into this pot. Just a bit of water. And I'm gonna add all the water because I'm gonna actually strain the rice off afterwards. I'm gonna take some herb spices. I have here some bay leaf. I have some star anise, which I love. I have some cloves, whole cloves. And I have here some cardamom pods, which I went ahead and I, they were already in the pod itself, so I took the seeds out. and I got rid of the shell. So I'm just gonna add these in here as well. And then what we will do now is I have the rice, which I, I had previously gone ahead and washed and I had it soak in here now for 20 minutes. So I'm gonna go over to my sink and I'm going to strain this off and then add this to my pot now with a bit of salt. So let's just strain this off. Okay, so I strained the rice off. Let's add the rice now to the pot. And this is basmati rice we're using here. So I love a basmati rice with a curry. So let's add that. Uh, so while this is cooking, what we will do next is we'll go ahead and we will work on our butter chicken sauce, which is very simple. It's not difficult at all. Once you have all the ingredients, and I'm gonna go through it all with you. So let's just pop this over here. Just move this out the way as well too. I need a spoon. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead now and just give this a stir. I'm gonna add a bit of salt to this. So I'm gonna add a little salt just to give some flavor. Give this a stir. And I will pop the lid on here. So that is our uh, rice working. So what we're gonna work on next I'm gonna actually pop this here at the back so we can work now on the butter chicken. So I put that right at the back. So that's our rice there working. 
What we'll do now, we'll work on our buttered chicken. So I have a pot right here, so I'm gonna take a bit of grape seed oil. You could use olive oil if you want to. I like using grape seed oil because it has no flavor. Or you can also use ghee, which is clarified butter. So add a bit of this grape seed oil in the pan, just a bit. And what we're gonna do is to get this here heated nicely. Just move this around a bit. And then what I have here, while that's heating, I have a few hard spices here. I have here some bay leaf. I also have star anise, which I love so much. I have here a cinnamon stick, and I took it and I broke it in half. I also have some whole black peppercorns. And I also have the same cardamom pods, which I used in the rice as well too. Uh, so we're gonna add these hard spices now to our pot and just kind of saute it a little bit as well. Hard spices are added. And we're allowing this to heat up. Once noodles are added, I'm just gonna give this a little move around. Let's check my heat. Then from here, we're gonna go ahead and add our ginger. Saute that around. And I'll also add the garlic as well too. So we're gonna move this around a bit. Get it all sweated nicely. And I can smell it, it smells so delicious. And again, the garlic and the ginger, I used in the microplane to get maximum flavor out of them by grating them on a the microplane, so it came into a paste. That's sweated. I'm now gonna add the onions, which I diced earlier. So we added our onions, and while the onions are in, I'll go ahead and add the scotch bonnet pepper. Again, as I said to you earlier, I like to use the green Thai chili pepper, but I wasn't finding any yesterday in the supermarket, so that's why I'm having to use this um, scotch bonnet pepper. Scotch bonnet tends to be a bit hotter, so you wanna be careful not to use too much. I'm just gonna add a bit more of the grape seed oil. I suspect it needs a bit more oil. Now let's just go ahead and give it a, a nice stir. Yeah, smelling good. Let's just check our flame. What I'm gonna do, I find sometimes when I'm cooking here and my window is open because I wanna have a little air inside to cool the kitchen down, it tends to blow my flame a bit. I'm just gonna step to the window and I want to just close this in a bit. And that way I can have a good flame going here as well. Oh, that's smelling so delicious. Wow. That's incredible. Okay, so we added the onions. What we will do now is we're gonna go ahead now and add our dry spices. So I have a few dry spices here I want to go through with you. I'm gonna add some five spice powder. I'm gonna add a bit of cayenne pepper for the heat. You can add a, depending on what level of heat you want to have, you can add a bit more. I like things spicy, but not overly spicy. We also have black pepper, so we have three levels of heat here. We have the scotch bonnet pepper, the cayenne pepper, and the black pepper. Some paprika, we add now. Then I have here some cumin powder. And then now we have here some cardamom powder, which I'm gonna add as well. So that's where dry spice is added. What we do now is we go ahead and give this a stir, just to kind of cook these dry spices a bit. And this is what really brings up the, the flavor. And if you could smell this, it's smelling so Indian right now in the house here. It smells really good. So this is how this is looking right now. Just kind of stir this up. That's looking so good. So if you can see that, that's looking really, really, really delicious. So now it's all cooked in. We're gonna go ahead now, and earlier I had taken some, I don't have a blender, I need to purchase a blender. So normally I would take the canned tomatoes and I would blend them with a bit of tomato paste. So what I had to do is I took some canned tomatoes which were diced, and I diced them on my cutting board. I chopped them quite a few times to get a nice puree of the actual tomatoes. But 
if you have a blender, please, by all means, put this in the blender and blend it. It's better. So we're gonna add this now into a pot. I normally tend to pour this a little lower because I find tomato product always splashes on you. So I'm trying not to create a mess. We add that inside along with the tomato paste. And we just would give this a stir. And as you can see, it's a bit thick at the moment. What we will do now, we also add a bit of sugar, brown sugar because of the spice to cut some of that heat. Add some brown sugar in there. And then I also have some water because it's quite thick. So we want to actually not have it so thick. You know, I think my, this might be a bit embarrassing. I think my gas is running a little low. We will soon see. Okay, so I added some water here. And I'm also gonna add a bit of butter as well too. This is unsalted butter. I also have some honey, which I'm gonna add. And what I did to get the honey out easily, I just put a little tip of olive oil in this container, rubbed it all around, and then when I, add, when I put, put my honey here, it comes out easily. And then we just wanna put a tidbit of salt in here. And what we're gonna do now is to bring this to a boil, give it a taste, and we're gonna wait because we have to add our chicken. But the chicken actually right now is in the oven. So we're gonna just allow this to come to a boil. I'm gonna put the lid on. I have the rice cooking. I have the chicken in the oven. And we're gonna come back in just a few minutes. I'm gonna allow these to come to a boil, rice to cook, this to have a immersion of flavor, chicken to cook, and then we can continue on and finish this dish. We will be finished in less than 10 minutes from now. Okay, so let's go ahead and check all our rice. The rice is looking, well the sauce is looking delicious. Let's just lower the sauce a bit. Let's check our rice. Our rice is finished. So I'm gonna go ahead and strain the rice off. Mm. That's very tasty, really, really tasty. So what I'll do, I'll just strain the rice off and I'm gonna check on the chicken in the oven. The sauce, we're gonna check on the sauce now as well. So let's strain this rice off. And I simply just take a strainer and pour this off. Okay, lovely. Okay, so we just strain that rice off. So I'll that to drain over there. I'll bring it here so you can see it. So I just allow this to drain off. And then once that's drained, we'll just put it back in the pot and that rice is ready. Let's check our sauce here now. Sauce is looking delicious. Give this a taste. Mm. That's really good. <clears throat> really good. So what we do now, we're gonna add a bit of cream to it now. This is a bit of a heavy cream, heavy cooking cream. And this gives it this nice creamy color. Good. That's good. And I will allow this to come back to a boil. What I will do now is I'm gonna check on this chicken. Oh, that's looking good. So let me just move this out of the way. I'll put this back here. I'm gonna take this towns. And I just wanna pop this out of the oven so we can check it. Just wanna check a piece of the chicken actually. So let's just check. Okay, so this is a chicken thigh. Just gonna cut a piece of that so I can just taste it. Mm, delicious. So what we're gonna do now, it's quite simple. 
we're just gonna add this chicken now into the sauce. Let me just take the entire thing out. Great. So this is it here. So what we're gonna do now is to take our spoon and we're gonna add the contents of this into the sauce right here. Beautiful. And you have all the flavor of the tomatoes, of the yogurt. Everything is all combined here. And just add this all in here. Wow, beautiful. And then what I like to do, I like to take the liquid here. Let's just get a piece of paper towel. I like to take the liquid here and I like to add it to my sauce for maximum flavor. So we can add this in here now. Oh wow, amazing. And then we're gonna give this a stir. So now you have all the flavor of the chicken marination in with your tomatoes and cream. And we allow this here now to simmer for just a few minutes. What I will do now is I'm just gonna grab a spoon and taste it. Just see whether it needs any more salt or pepper. But I think the spices should be good because we have spices with the chicken. And we also have spices as well. Let's just taste this. Oh, that's amazing. I think it probably could take just a small amount of salt. But the flavor is beautiful. Give this a stir. I'm gonna taste it maybe one or two more times. I'm gonna grab a spoon from my drawer. I grab three spoons. That is perfect. <clears throat> so I'm gonna load this now to a simmer and allow this just to simmer just a little bit. Now this is ready. So now we're gonna begin plate up. I'm gonna take the rice, which we have steamed. Just right, put it right back in here. I have a spoon here. Good. It's all drained. So we're just adding it right back into there. And then now we're gonna go ahead now and do our plate up. So I'm gonna plate this up right over here. Let's just move this stuff out of the way. And let's just put this right here. Beautiful. Our rest is here. I want so you can see everything. And I'm gonna light this back one. Just move my sauce to the back so you can see it all. And the other thing I wanted to mention to you with this sauce, we normally add cilantro. I don't have any cilantro, so I have a bit of basil leaves. So I'm just gonna chiffon out a few pieces and add into this sauce. Chiffon out is really cut into strips. So I just took some basil leaves. I'm gonna stack them up just like this. And I'm going to actually roll this up into like a little People say a cigarette or something. And then we're gonna just cut it into strips like this. All the way across. Good. And that's now what we're gonna do. We're gonna add this now to our sauce. And give this a stir. And that's now to die for. So that's, let's let that simmer a bit more. 
And now we're going to go ahead and plate this dish up. So, I think I want to grab a larger spoon. So, we'll go ahead and put some rice in here. This is the basmati rice we did, which is all steamed. So, we put this rice inside. Mmm, that's beautiful. Some more. I love basmati rice. Okay, we put a piece of this bay leaf here. I love it. This looks so lovely. So that's all our rice. And then we're gonna now do our chicken. So I'll take a bit of this chicken. The butter chicken. Look at the color. So beautiful. So beautiful. This looks so delicious. This is going to be actually a great lunch. Wow, look at this. Amazingly delicious. Okay, so that's our butter chicken right there. And let's just turn this off. And then we're going to just go ahead and just clean this up a bit. I want to just garnish this so it looks nice. So. I'm going to take a bit of these nice little greens, these micro greens I got from the supermarket. I put a few right on top of my rice, so that looks nice. And I also take a bit of this basil. Uh, let's find some nice basil leaves that right, you can take from right here. I'm going to put a bit of basil right in here. Just a little basil rustic inside of here. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, so here we have it. This is our amazing butter chicken with basmati rice. So I'm gonna grab a fork and I'm gonna taste this dish right here. I have a fork here. And let's just go ahead now. This is the butter chicken right here with the basmati rice. So let's just go ahead and taste this. This looks so delicious. Wow. I'll just try the rice first. That's the easiest part. Rice is great. Let's try the, the chicken now. Oh wow, look at this. Mmm. That is so delicious. Wow. That is so delicious. That's what you call an outstanding meal. So, here you have it, that's our butter chicken. And we did some basmati rice to go with it. If you've enjoyed this show, and you have learned something, how to make butter chicken, please go ahead and like, please subscribe, ring the bell so you know if other shows come in. I try now to make a video once a week. And again, I am John Hazard, and for me, it's all about food. I'll see you next time.